So hi everyone. I'd like to share with you today one of my favorite routines. We're going to start by sitting up and then we're going to finish by lying down. So take a moment, just pause, reflect, gather your energies and center yourself. Feeling the earth energy underneath you supporting you and the air energy over you like a hand or a blanket gently folding you. So you can feel the length of your spine and the energy flowing from earth to heaven and heaven to earth. And then having established that, let's move to our heart center. Fold your hands over your heart center. Breathe in, open and expand. Breathing out, gather the energy and return home. Again, breathe in. And breathe out. Once more, inhale. And exhale. And do something similar now. It's a six part exercise. So let's start with the arms down. Breathe in, just lift your arms, let them float up. Breathe out, return home to heart center. Breathe in, again open heart. Breathe out, return to heart center. Breathe in, go forward or up. Breathe out, gently float the arms down and tuck your chin in. Let's repeat that twice more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Last one. One. You do some really easy twists next. So bring your hands in front of you. Inhale. Exhale, turn just a little bit to your right. And then back to the front. Inhale. And then to the other side. Exhale. And we're going to add the arms a little bit more. So inhale, lift a little bit taller. Exhale, both arms to your right side. And then turn completely to your right side. We're going to turn our head left as you inhale and right as you exhale. Head and chest turning now. Inhale and exhale. Last one. Inhale and exhale. Slowly turn to the front, lift the arms a little bit more, inhale, exhale, turn to your left, place the hands down, either on the leg or the floor, and behind you. Easy twist, and then add in the neck, inhale, look to your right, exhale, look to your left. Second time, turn the uh, chest. Inhale and exhale. One more. And exhale. Turn to the front and return to heart center. Inhale, open and exhale. Two more.
take a little pause. We're going to change the legs over if you want, so give them a check which leg is in front, give them a bit of a shake and change over. We're going to start our side opening movements next. Okay, first of all, lift your right arm up a little bit. Think of working the side. Inhale, exhale, and then slowly bend over. So shoulder down, opening up here and return. Let's change arms, take a pause, settle, and then inhale, gently lengthen a little bit over, and exhale down. Then go from side to side, we're gonna lengthen the arms and do different kinds of twists as well. So lengthen your right arm, shoulder down, lengthen to the side body. Inhale, and keep bending over in half moon stretch. And gently lower your left elbow down a few times. Thinking of your right hip, gently opening outwards. Slowly release. And soften down. Let's do that on the other side. Lengthen up the side body. Inhale. Exhale, flow over. And then gently lower your right elbow down a few times. Slowly reverse the movement to come out. There's one more with a slight difference. So lift the right arm up again, inhale. This time, as you bend over, you can either bring your hands together here or keep the elbow on the floor and then look to the right for five, four, three, two, one, left hand down, slowly come out of it. And then check out your other side. So left arm up and gently bend over. You can either lift the right arm up or keep the elbow on the floor for five. Keep breathing. Four, three, two, and one. Right hand down, gently release. And once again, we do the six-part movement. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Once again, check out your legs, etc. if you need to. We're going to keep the spine straight and move forward and back, hinging from the hips. You can either hold your own feet inside you or hold your own kneecaps. And get ready. Lift the breastbone and lean back a little bit. Inhale. Exhale. Gently draw on the tummy to lean forward a little bit. Let's keep doing that. Inhale. And exhale. You've got one more to go. Just a linear movement. And now we're going to hold our kneecaps or thighs. Still with the spine straight, we're going to circle from hip to hip or knee to knee. Just one more. Easy breathing. And then let's go back the opposite way. Finish, just conventional shoulder rolls. One, two, going backwards. Three, and then interlace your fingers firmly down in your laps and roll your shoulders and arms. One, two, three, and we go backwards the opposite way. Three, two, one. Loosen up the fingers, etc. Shake out the wrists. <clears throat> We're going to stretch out our legs, so fingertips on the floor, stretch out your legs, give them a shake. Hands either to the side or behind you to help you keep your spine gently straight, engaging your tummy, just whatever needs to be done to help you 
lift up straight, shoulders relaxed. We're going to work the feet, so stretch your heels forward and then your toes forward. As you do that, feel the muscles above the knees engaging all the way to your tummy and spine. One more. Now we're going to add in the toes. So when you take your feet forward, curl your toes. And then when you take the heels forward, spread your toes backwards. And again, twice more, curl and spread the toes forward, curl. Sometimes you get cramp whilst doing this if you're not used to it, so I don't like to do it too often. Wiggle out your toes and open your feet a little bit wider, give them a shake. Hold your kneecaps from moving, stretch your feet halfway forward and stretch the toes. Now don't move the kneecaps, just bring your toes together, a big toes together and then push apart like you're making sand angels. Two, three, okay one more, four and then slacken off a bit and just circle your feet round and round, easy peasy. Opposite way. And then very easily use your hands to help you open the thighs. Little toes touch the floor, okay? And then the opposite way. You bring your hips in and your big toes can touch the floor. Just once or twice more. So you notice the kneecaps now go out, but the movement comes from your foot, feet and your hips. Can we do one more? Good. Shake out your legs, tuck out your thighs. Now we start a series of movements for Janushishasana, the head knee movement, one of my absolute favorites. So lots of variations, bring your right leg up halfway, hold on to your sin and lift your spine long. Inhale, look up, exhale, chin tucked in, roll the head down. Let's do that once more. Take your hands to the back and swing your right hip in and open about three times just to loosen and warm up that hip area and then keep the hip open. Next part, you can choose to have your legs straight if you're really stiff or keep at your foot here or use your hands to bring your right foot in low, medium or higher, anywhere along the inside of the left leg depending on your knee, thigh, hip, back, etc. Left toes gently up to the ceiling, bring your hands forward. We're going to do a twist. Inhale, exhale, twist to your right and hold the small knee. And then rock from buttock to buttock, keeping the kneecap to the ceiling. You can lift your hip up and down a few times. And then slowly start moving more and more forward. And you can prop on your hands or your elbows or stretch your arms gently forward. And reach the body forward over your knee for five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly walk yourself back up again. As you turn to the front, take your left buttock behind you a little bit. So even though you're even on, on your bottoms, you're a little bit skew if. We turn to the other side, but let's remain upright. Inhale, exhale, turn to your left, left hand behind you, right hand turns this in if you can. Lift tall, inhale, exhale, turn to your left, and we're going to do little, little pulses. Inhale, exhale, again. Two more. Turn to the front, check that your kneecap is facing the ceiling, your body is over your kneecap, it's alignment, and let's move from our hips with a straight back forward, hook your thumbs and aim for your toes or ankles, four times, just gently, just see how far you can go without straining. One, two, three, four. Hands to your thigh. And then that little forward action, you can stay here. Some people like to loop a belt around their foot. 
Great. Bring your hands to the floor, or around your leg or ankles, or clasp, clasp your foot. And look forward first, up to get the spine long. Inhale. Exhale slowly. Bring your chest to your thigh. Bring your head a little bit in for five. Four, three, two, and one. Look forward, slide your hands up. Easy counter stretch, lengthen the spine. Inhale, stronger counter stretch. Left arm up, holding the ceiling. Right hand pressing the floor behind you. Turn your left foot in. Balance on that left foot and your back hand to lift the buttocks and then stretch back. Very good. Slowly return, stretch out both legs and give them a good shake and a loosen. We're going to do all that on the other side but let's talk for me. Ready? Same thing. Let's breathe. Inhale, lengthen, energy up. Exhale, chin tuck and down. Once more. Inhale, up. Exhale down. Let's open the left hip three times. One, one, two, two, three, three. Arrange the left leg wherever comfortable. And let's bring our hands forward. Inhale, exhale, turn to your left. Little action to get that hip moving. Check that you can breathe and then slowly lean forward on your hands forearms for lengthen for five. Good. Start sliding up. We get your right body backwards. Second twist. Inhale. Exhale. Upright twist. And let's slowly rotate the spine a few times. Finally, the forward movement, hinging from the hips, kneecap facing up, and let's slowly see how much we can move. So even if you can move here, it's okay. So one more, and then separate the hands and see if you can walk them down either on the floor or to wherever you can reach. Shoulders down, chest forward, look up, inhale, and then slowly down. Let your back breathe. It's really nice if you can let your back breathe here. And walk your hands up. Lengthen. Easy counter stretch. Or slightly stronger with the balance. Turn. Press. Lift. And stretch back. Slowly release. Release your legs, give them a shake. Back to cross sit. That finishes the first section. This has got to be, this is section two, and this has got to be my, literally my most, most favorite relaxing section and stretching. So there's a tiny bit of action in it. So you're going to slowly make your way down to your back. So you're going to lie down here just with your legs bent and just let the back settle. Lengthen the spine and then we go taking both arms backwards so you can just check that your shoulders and all that are free. And then you can stretch out one leg and then the opposite leg as well. You can point your toes forward or the heels forward if you want extra stretch. Or you can interlace your fingers and stretch the arms back. Or you can just lie here, allowing the spine to just lengthen. How does this affect your breathing? Good to know. Okay, we're going to bring the right knee to your chest, over your chest, and your hands either at the back, around the knee, in the front, or the sin. So bring your thigh closer to you. So the thigh is closer to your chest. Your left leg can be either halfway bent or stretched. Shoulders back. You can either stay like this or you can lift your head up towards your knee or whatever. Rock 
across your world. Let's take one more breath. This is called Pavanamuktasana, the wind relieving. Pavan is the god of the wind, so that's why it's called wind relieving. Pavanamukta, allowing your wind to go free, pressing you free. I know, it's such a... Ready to do the other side? So change over in any way you like, holding the left side thigh or sin. Shoulders relaxed, length opening between your thighs. Ah, feeling so nice. I forgot to say, so I'll have to do it on this side. You can twist your hip through here. So we do it on this side and then go back to the first side. You can either open your hip to the left as a lovely variation. Make sure you bring your knee towards the same side armpit. You don't want to open. We've already done a lot of hip opening in the wind in Janu Shishasan. So take, or you can take the knee across the center line of your body towards the other shoulder. It's a lovely stretch. Okay, we have to do this on the other side, so just very quickly. Open your first hip open, aiming it upwards. And then you take it across to the opposite side. So you don't want to actually take that, lift the body up too much. You just want to feel a gentle stretch across there if it's okay. Okay, release. Once again, full body stretch. Break up the spine, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And then bring the hands down next to your side. You can either, yeah, actually it's everybody bend both knees over your chest just to stretch out your back. We're gonna put the feet on the floor and we're gonna take several variations of twisting. First one, feet a little bit apart or together. Arms outstretched, inhale. And then on the exhale, you roll both your knees over towards your right side and you turn your upper body and neck to the left side, so opposite. So if your knees come apart here, that's perfectly okay. And do the other side, so inhale to the center, exhale. So if you don't have very flexible ankles, you can do lots of variations for them. You can take your feet a bit wider apart, have the feet down or one above the other depending on hip uh, openings. This is a gorgeous opening for the rib cage. So you, oh, all the way through the whole spiral of the body even though the spine is in a straight line. So we're going to come out of it and then the second variation is take your right leg and see if it can go right across. Just dangle it over. You're only on one foot. So first rock from side to side. Mm -hmm. One foot turning. And then slowly, if your right leg's on top, aim traditionally to take both knees over to your right side. If it's too difficult, you can go over to the other side. Look to the opposite. I'm going to come out and do the opposite side. So you can either stretch or just go straight into it. A little bit of rocking action to get that foot mobility again. The hips thing, oh yeah, it's okay. And then over you go slowly, adjust your upper body, so you're aiming to have your upper back on the floor. So nice. So we're gonna come out of it. Release. And then just finish there by giving a little hug, stretch out your back, or full body stretch, or more. There are many different twist variations, single leg crossover twist, which we didn't do today, is, is, is one of my favorites as well. I'm going to do many, five different versions of the bridge to finish with, and then we'll, you can finish with the one that you want, holding it a little bit longer. First variation, feet are hip width apart, pretty close to your buttocks, so they don't have to touch or anything. Hands down by your sides, shoulders back, strong butts, and lift your bottoms up a little bit, just a little bit into the air. Inhale, exhale, and then inch down bit by bit. Second variation, arms are to the side or stretch behind you. Lift up again. Inch down. Third variation is a lot more difficult. You've got to have long arms for this. 
to hold onto the front of your ankles. Make sure your shoulder blades are on the floor and then you lift up, squeezing your shoulder blades together. And then the fourth variation, I'll just show you from here. Your hands interlace underneath you, shoulder blades move closer together to lift up and your hands come down sort of between your feet. Slowly release, shoulder blades, etc. Choose one of those variations, one that you really liked, and do it for about three breaths. Okay, so I'm just going to hold them to my own feet. Lift up. And then release your shoulder blades, walk yourself down. Stretch out your knees, wiggle out your feet, and once again, hug your knees to your chest, sort of head between your knees as a counter stretch. And now you're ready for a lovely relaxation, which we'll do on the next time. You can lay here as long as you want in Shavasana, the relaxation position, letting the body settle, letting the breath settle, letting the mind relax. Thank you for practicing with me, by the way.